And breaking news right now at 6, ABC 24 is learning much more about the criminal history of the teenager accused of carjacking and killing a beloved Memphis minister. Turns out 15-year-old Miguel Andrade not only committed three previous carjackings this year, but he was also wearing an ankle monitor when Reverend Eason Williams was killed Monday afternoon. And right now, Richard Ransom is here with this exclusive information you can find only here on ABC 24. Richard. Thanks, Rudy. This new information that Miguel Andrade was wearing an ankle monitor at the time of the crime is raising a lot of questions tonight, including at juvenile court. Was it some sort of malfunction where the monitor just wasn't working? Even if that was the case, the obvious question is why wasn't Andrade's probation officer notified as all of those events Monday were going down while he was violating his probation, not only in Whitehaven, where the Reverend was killed, but also in Cordova, where police say Andrade carjacked a second woman, and in Berclair, where he allegedly crashed the second victim's car. I asked juvenile court judge Dan, Dan Michael that today. He told me that's a good question and one that we're looking into. We don't know what happened with this kid. Again, Rudy, uh, it's Andrade that had the ankle monitor on because he was on probation after committing some earlier carjackings, which I know you're going to have details on here in a minute. But the bottom line is a lot of unanswered questions tonight. Yeah, that's right, Richard. Well, let's go a little bit further into the arrest record of Andrade. It's extensive, right? Mm -hmm. In November 2021, juvenile court uh, charged him with a misdemeanor gun charge. Two weeks later, Andrade was arrested again. And then in December 2021, Andrade was hit with three counts of carjacking and three counts of possession of a weapon. Uh, but the prosecution had no case because the witness did, witnesses did not show up in court. So a plea deal was made. That plea deal ordered the team to complete a ceasefire gun safety program, community service, and wearing that ankle monitor.